Hi, good morning. Have a look at this picture. This is a Toyota car. You might be aware this is a Japanese made car, but the ground reality is not that. The chassis of this car is made in England. Tires of this car are from Taiwan. The wires and electronic devices are made in China. Seat belts are made in Czech Republic. One of this car is live in Sri Lanka. He earns money to buy this car by working in Dubai. He's married a Russian woman whose father is Russian and mother is Ukrainian. They have two children. Son is studying in England and daughter is studying in French university by using online learning technology. Both of them are lived in England. They have pets, German Shepherd dog and Persian cat. This is what we call globalization. One good example for globalization is international fast food chains like McDonald's, KFC, Pizza Hut, Domino's, Taco Bell, Burger King, Subway, like that. If you take McDonald's as an example, thousands of their outlets are in all over the world. But each and every outlet has, but each and every outlet has unique identity. The appearance of the outlets, staff attire, menus are same. Another example for globalization is social media. Millions of people spend their time with social media every day. We can watch anything what we like using world biggest video sharing media, YouTube. We can find any print from anywhere in the world on Facebook. Like this, there are many social media platforms. Sri Lankan artist Johan is working for Indian film industry and Indian music industry. This is also a result of globalization. There are many international online marketing networks like eBay, Amazon, Walmart, Alibaba, etc. People can shop and buy anything from anywhere in the world through these networks within a few days. 10, 15 years ago, if we want to travel to a foreign country, we had to buy traveler's check or foreign currency. For that, we had to get permission from relevant authorities a few weeks ago. But today, with one credit or debit card, you can travel anywhere in the world and you can do any payment. With your online banking system, you can do any international financial transaction within a few seconds. This is financial globalization. Globalization is currently happening mostly because of two reasons, and that is improved transportation and improved technology. When we discuss about globalization, there are some areas that is cultural, social, political, economical, and environmental. We can discuss this later. When expand businesses, we have to cross the international border. But there are some barriers. Natural barriers like transportation, technology can be managed. But cultural barriers can't manage individually. To open those barriers, two or multiple parties has to negotiate. So international negotiation is more important for international business. Now we discuss what skills food manager need at international negotiation. Active listening is very important to understand other parties' views. Ability to ask good questions when necessary is a good skill. Communication is the most important skill. The ability to effectively communicate with individuals, groups, or superiors is essential for both personal and professional growth. He must have decision-making ability and power to take necessary action on time. Emotional is the ability to control your emotions and recognize others' feelings. Interpersonal skills, problem-solving ability, ethics and collaborations also very important. The impact of culture on negotiation. 
the negotiation factors are goal attitudes personal style communications time sensitivity emotionalism agreement form agreement building team organization risk taking when we talk about international cultural negotiation as an example there's an interesting story about american salesman and japanese customer an american salesman traveled to japan to meet his client for final meeting and price when they reached the decision on price the american salesman offered the highest price to make it easy and use a round figure let's say it was 1 million his client paused and did not respond the american businessman thought he don't like the price so he reduced the price to 900000 again his japanese client paused and again the american salesman brought his price down this pattern continued until the american salesman reached the lowest price he could possibly accept dollar 600000 finally his client quietly agreed later the american salesman found out his japanese client thought his first price 1 million was quite generous and he was going to say yes so why did he lose 400000 in the negotiation process the american businessman didn't know that it is common for japanese people to pause reflect in silence and then respond this pause and the silent reflection is done out of respect for the person and for what was said in american communication style they don't like silence they tend to fill up pauses silence is a sign of something wrong the american businessman learned a very important lesson that day this is why cultural learning is very important to international negotiation now we are going to discuss about this and don't on business negotiation do prepare one of the most effective negotiation strategy is preparation know your bottom line use a friendly approach listen to others consider all of your options don't get caught up in emotions when it comes to business negotiations don't let your emotions dictate your approach don't underestimate your worth don't have an all or nothing attitude don't gloat after a win the person you gloated in front of yesterday may be the person you are working with or reporting to tomorrow don't underestimate anyone okay now we move on to the next topic you cannot change a culture but you need to change accordingly culture is a set of values belief and behaviors shared by members of a social group culture helps us stay connected to our thought shared memories and traditions social change versus cultural change cultural change is a very broad and dynamic change social change is only a part of cultural change cultural change includes change in 
ideology, administration, and social changes refers to changes in social relationship among people. Social changes, social change is all about improvements made to uplift certain lifestyle. Cultural change gives new direction to social change. Cultural change could be material or non-material. Okay, thank you very much.